Hi everyone, today I will be talking about the Illin Pipes. So moving on to slide two, the Illin Pipes um, originated in Ireland and date back to the early 1700s. They originally named Union Pipes and they used to be a much larger instrument. Uh, the term Illin comes from the Irish vernacular and it translates to elbow. Um, the reason being that the instrument is played with the elbow and that's why it's called Illin. Um, but I will touch more on how the instrument is played later and you know, we will see how the instrument is played. Um, so, as far as what sound the pipes will produce, the pipes will produce a less, a mellow and less harsh sound. Um, so, Yellen pipes should not be confused with the Scottish counterpart, the Highland pipes. There are many differences between the two, and some of these include how it's played. Um, the Highland pipes is played sitting, while the Yellen pipes is played standing where it's played. Um, the Highland Pipes tend to be played outdoors, while the Illin Pipes tend to be played indoors. Um, the Highland Pipes can be considered a military instrument, while the Illin Pipes tend to be for a more of a social setting. And the final difference that I'll be talking about um, is how the instrument is taught. So the Highland Pipes you learn via sheet music, while with the Illin Pipes you have to learn by ear within your tradition. Um, so, now that we've established the difference between Highland and Illin pipes, we can look at how the pipe is organized. Um, Illin pipes consist of three drones and three regulators, as well as a chanter. So, the functionality of each part is as follows. The chanter is a wooden tube that can vary in length. Um, it's what provides the melody for the instrument. Um, the drone is what allows a platform for sound waves to move off of, or to bounce off of. So that you can actually hear the instrument. Um, and finally, the regulator um, will sit on top of the, it sits on top of the drones, as you can see in the diagram, and it consists of levered, key, levered keys which cover varying notes. So because of the three regulators and all, of, and all the different keys, there's four to five keys within each regulator. So this allows for up to two octaves um, in varying notes, and it's capable of all half steps in between. Um, and this design dates back to the 1800s, and it's different from the original, but it's the design that we have today. So, now that we know how the pipes function, we can look at how the pipes are played. So, the Allen pipes are extremely difficult to play. Um, as I stated previously, it, you have to learn by ear, and it, you, there's no mouthpiece. You don't play by mouth. Um, it's powered by bellows which, and, that are pressed between the right elbow and the hip. This inflates a bag that is kept under the left elbow. This, the bellows and bags can be seen in the top right and top and bottom right corners. So what gives this instrument its wide range is the regulator, and the regulator will consist of four to five keys that play notes. So, to, and another part of why it has such a wide range as I previously stated is that it can be attributed to use of dry reeds. Um, but this allows the pipe to come in three different main keys, D, C, and B flat. Um, and the Illin pipes can produce many varying sounds, including a very distinctive haunting sound. So now that we know how to play the instrument, now we can look at an example. So um, here's a sample of a U an Illin pipes instrument instrumentalist Chris McMullen. Uh, he is playing a jig called Lark in the Morning. Um, while watching this video, I ask that you pay close attention to how he plays the pipes, you know, the methodology behind it, and the varying sounds it makes. I, you know, listen for the range and the two octaves. Um, so, an, an, interest, an interesting fact we can touch upon on the Elon pipes is that in 1960 the Yellen pipes almost became extinct um, despite the effort, but efforts of um, instrumentalists at the time and people who produced the instrument, it, had a, it came back and even went as far to be featured in songs by U2. Um, so the instrument has lasted the test of time and in conclusion the Illin pipes are as essential to traditional Irish music as the Highland pipes are to traditional Scottish music. Um, I hope you all enjoy the rest of your day, and thank you.